Hey YouTube, it's Pastor Dwayne here. So today we're going to be taking a look at Thomas Nelson's Sovereign Collection New King James Version. And I've had a chance to peruse through this, and this is a really nice looking Bible. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to notice about this Bible specifically is the box is just beautiful. The design on this cover, doesn't that just say regal? Anyway, so let's go ahead and take a look at the back here, and there's going to be some details on there. If you want to go ahead and pause the video and review what those are, um, it'll give you a good indication of what's inside here. Now, we don't buy a Bible for the box, so let's go ahead and take this thing out and get out of here. Taking a look here, the first thing you're going to notice is the word Holy Bible stamped in gold right on the front. And if we flip it over, you're going to see very nice, delicate designs on the spine, as well as one, two, three, four raised hubs. Let's see if we can get it all in the camera angle there for you to see. Of course, on the back, uh, nothing there except the, uh, the ISBN number on the bottom corner there. Now, one thing you might notice is that there's perimeter stitching. It's going to be hard to see on the camera here, but it goes all the way around the genuine leather cover. And if we take a look at the inside, now this is surprising. This, this surprised me when I initially saw this. The inside cover, you're going to notice that this is actually edge lined. It's not a paste down liner. Edge lined Bibles, they take the leather and they cut it and tab it into the text block so that it holds it there more tightly. And it's actually more durable to make them this way other than just pasting, you know, a thicker card stock to hold the cover in. So this is great. I was excited to see that. I, I was not expecting that. I, I was just thinking they were going to do paste down, but they didn't. That's great. And that matches well with the uh, genuine leather cover and the, uh, um, I don't know, it's hard to see. Maybe you come down here. Uh, you can see that they've smith sewn the pages together. Um, so this is solidly constructed. So let's, uh, let's not take a look too much on the, uh, the inside cover here. Let's go ahead and start taking a look at what's actually in the text. So we got our title page. We've got our copyright page. Okay, this is Thomas Nelson. They do print their Bibles in China. I know some people get a little bit upset with that, but it is printed in China. For those who uh, don't mind, uh, this is just what it is. And we got our table of contents. That's all the books of the Bible. And then the preface to the New King James. Again, this is not the whole preface. This is just an abridged version. Um, I, I would love to see them continue to supply the entire preface with the New King James versions, just because it's nice to see some of the history and stuff that goes along with that, some of the thinking of the translators. After the preface, we get right into the text. So in Genesis 1, you're going to notice right away there is an introduction to each book and the initial letter of each chapter is going to have a fancy, very delicate, intricate uh, drop cap. And you know what? It looks beautiful. I love it. It looks great. Paired up with that red text, it, there's almost like a, you know, like a, like an old timey look to it, like an old timey look. Yeah, that's it. Now the uh, astute watcher is going to see that it is in double column and it is verse by verse format with each verse number in a deep red color. In fact, I think that's the same red color as you're going to see on the headers there. Now, if you take a look at the bottom of the page, you'll see all of your references there. And that includes both the references to other passages, as well as some translation notes and some textual notes. You'll see that all at the bottom there. Now, if we flip over to the book of Psalms or Proverbs, whichever, You'll see the poetic setting in that double column format. Now, I'm not a huge fan of poetic setting in double column format, but that's totally preference, right? You might like that. And if you do, then this is a good thing for you. Now, if we flip over to the New Testament, let's flip over to the New Testament. This brings us to the Gospel of John, and you're going to see that this is actually a red letter Bible. So, words of Christ are in red, and then, of course, the rest of it is in black. Uh, so if you're not a big fan of the red letter Bible, this one, you might want to pass this one over. But if you really like the red letter, I happen to like red letter editions, um, then this would be for you. Now let's flip on over to the end. Where's Revelation? Oh, that's at the end, duh. And right after Revelation, we get a little concordance at the back there. So this, this concordance is relatively small. 
Um, again, I think most people look up their passages online nowadays anyways, just because it's easier and more convenient. Um, and then right after the concordance, we get some of these maps. And of course, these maps are not on regular Bible paper. Again, it's one of those preference things. I know some people like to see it on regular Bible paper, but these are printed on that kind of thick, glossy paper. Um, so you'll see that right here. You can see all that glossiness there. And then, of course, we have a blank page at the back to hold the cover in together and all that. And of course, our edge lining in the back. And then that brings us uh, through. And really quickly, before we finish up here, I want to show you the ribbons. So in this specific edition, uh, it comes with two ribbons. So we have one red and one black ribbon, angle cut, double sided. Now it's really interesting because this, this edition here, it uh, <laughs> looks like they missed the cut there. Um, again, not a big deal. I'll, I'll probably just cut that myself and I'll have a really nice uh, set of ribbons here. So Thomas Nelson, good job on the ribbons. Not like some other ribbons I've seen. Anyway, so that's the Sovereign Edition. Ultimately, I think this is a really well-constructed Bible. Again, I was surprised to see that it was edge-lined. I was expecting it to be a paste-down liner, so that's like that's like an added bonus. And it, it really looks like with that edge lining, with the Smithsone binding, and the genuine, cover, genuine leather cover, that they've really made this into something uh, which is going to last a significant amount of time. So if you're in the market for a new New King James Version Bible, this just might be what you need. Anyway, so as of right now, uh, this Bible is on Amazon for $65.99 at the time of this recording. Um, so if you want to purchase it, you can go ahead. I'll leave some links in the description below. Um, I'm not getting any kickbacks for that or anything. Um, however, Thomas Nelson did send me this um, and uh, told me that I could keep this uh, for a fair and honest review. So if you found this review helpful and you've been blessed here, go ahead and hit that like button. It helps the Google algorithm send my stuff out. Um, and until next time, brothers and sisters, we'll see you around.